Cheer up, Gordon, said the fat controller. I can't, sir. Is it true what Diesel says, sir? What does he say? That Diesels are taking over. Don't worry, Gordon, that will never happen on my railway. And one more thing, sir. Why did the visitor have two tenders? Because he lives on a railway with long distances between coal and depots. Gordon felt better. But Henry stops at complaining. He banged some trucks angrily. I always work hard enough for two, he puffed. I deserve another tender. Duck whispered something to Donald. He was going to play a trick on Henry. Henry, he asked innocently, would you like my tenders? Yours? What have you got to do with tenders? All right, said Duck. The deal's off. Would you like them, Donald? I wouldn't need deprive you of the honour, replied Donald. It is a great honour, continued Duck thoughtfully, but I'm only a tank engine. Perhaps James might. I'm sorry I was rude, said Henry hastily. How many tenders have you, and when could I have them? Uh, um, I have six, and you can have them this evening. Six lovely tenders, chortled Henry. What a splendid sight I'll be. Henry was excited all day. Do you think it'll be all right? He asked for the umpteenth time. Of course, said Duck. They're all ready now. The other engines waited where they could each get a good view. But Henry wasn't a splendid sight at all. His six tenders were very old, dirty and filled with boiler sludge. Had a good washout, Henry, called a voice. That's right, you'll feel a different engine now. Henry was not sure, but he thought the voice belonged to Gordon. <laughs>